Hello, hello, good evening. Can anybody hear me? Good evening, I can hear you. Yes, okay. Excellent, Fabio. We have six. Maravilla. Okay, guys, so how's it going, Fabio? Do you have a good weekend? Yes, I have a good weekend. I went to my mother's family in Usulutan. Really? Yes. <laughs> nice. Where in Usulutan? In Erewaikin. Erewaikin. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't know you have family here. Yes. <laughs> My mother's family is from there. Cool. And, and your father's family is also from there, no? No, my father's family is from Sensunte, Sensunte Peque. Wow, that's far from Usulutan. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a, there, there must be a story behind them. <laughs> what word did you say? I didn't. There must be a story. Ah, behind yes, it was. That, behind that relationship. <laughs> nah. Yes. <laughs> It happened, well, I will tell you, it happened with one of my mother's friends. She made a reunion with the, with both my father and my mother because my father worked in the same place that my mother friend and my mother was her friend. So. That's how they met. That's how she they the met. Cupid. She was the, the key in their relation. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, welcome Roxana, Miguel, and Francisco. Good evening, teacher. I am driving right now. Okay, okay, don't worry. We're going to wait for you. So, drive safely, drive carefully. Francisco, how's it Thank going? You. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Miguel. Hi. How are you feeling? Uh, How was your weekend? Uh, thank you, teacher. Well, uh, my weekend was uh, very fun because uh, yesterday I went to my other home because my sister, uh, he, she was a uh, birthday. Oh, it was her birthday yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Yes, uh, it's really funny to uh, meet uh, with uh, with a family a little time. Uh -oh. That was a strong thunder. There's an electric storm here, as you could hear. In, I don't know if, my, it, if it's raining there. Uh, in my home, it yes. is raining. It's raining slowly, but uh, repentantly, it's, it's hard. Ah, uh, there's a heavy rain here. I don't know what's going on in Samuel lately. It's like the yeah. things have changed. It's raining here and other parts is not. Okay, so welcome everybody. I see Rolando, Janari, Gustavo. Good evening. Diana, good evening. Good evening. 
Okay, so let me check. Somebody wrote in the chat. Uh, oh, okay. So Lori is almost done with her job. Excellent. Okay, so it's nice that you're back. I suppose that you rested a little bit on the weekend. Um, that's the plan, right? That's the idea. That we can get a little bit of rest. I'm going to create a little breakout room so you can catch up a little bit um, with your classmates and about their weekend and their plans for this week, right? How they're feeling, how they're doing. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to be adding, right, the people who joined the, the call to the breakout room so that you can ask each other different questions and activate your English switch, right? Because I suppose that on the weekend you don't practice too much, but today is the day. Okay? We start with the motivation Monday with a lot of energy, positivity, and let's go to the breakout rooms. Okay? We go now. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, and two. Okay, we're ready. I hope. And I'm just going to make a little modification here. Okay, there you go. So you will have exactly uh, four minutes just to catch up. Okay, a, a couple of questions. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Uh, what do you do? Is there anything special for this week that you, that you have to do or you're going to do? And that's it. Okay, then you come back and we'll start with the attendance and all the activities for today. Give me a thumbs up if you got the indications. If you're ready to go to the breakout rooms, thumbs up. Okay. I see Miguel, Diana, Francisco, Gustavo. Okay. Roxana, Fabio, Yanari. Perfect. Here we go. Accept the invitation, please. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Jackie. Thank you, teacher. I'm going to and send you to a breakout room right now to catch up teacher. about the weekend. Uh huh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. There you go. Yanari, do you get the invitation? How are you, Luis? I'm fine, thank you. You, oh. how are the weekend? Uh, well, my weekend was uh, really funny uh, because uh, yesterday I went uh, to my father's home uh, we celebrate the, my sister' birthday. There's, um, oh, yes, yes, we we enjoy a little time uh, because then the party, the little party, it's uh, raining really, really hard. But then um, for dinner we we eat. Um, Pupusas. And you, Luis, how was your weekend? You ate pupusas. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, my weekend was a little bit uh, boring because I was working in home because I have a, a lot of work for this week. So I was at Lucy. I'm staying home all the weekend. Uh, and today, if you hear me a little bit, um, I'll say 
Congestionado, teacher. Jam. I think. Where? How say congestionado? Congestionado. Yes. Mm, that would be. Let me check. I'm not. I'm. I don't want to use the wrong word. Well, well, <laughs> I'm. I'm, I'm receiving my my second vaccine today, so I feel a little bit. Uh, get down. That would be con congested. Con what? <laughs> congested. Congested. Congesting. Congested. Yeah. Okay. So Jessica or Janali, your weekend. <laughs> Uh, it was really uh, tired and busy because uh, on the stomach and she abort two babies. Uh, oh, yeah, it's so, so sad. Yeah. When was happened this situation? I think it was. I don't really remember, but I think what last week that was on class. I had to leave class because I had to go give some medicine to the animal. Oh, really? But right now is is better. Yeah. And how many how many belly ways uh, born were born? Oh, yeah? How many? Only they die. Uh, the one that they were in the stomach, they die. Ah, uh, but only, it's only, only Pele wave per, per mother, for example, for, for oh. Mali, no. for female. Ah, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. but, but it was funny. Mm, okay, the, the place that I uh, mentioned is to to on the highway to the Costa del Sol. Yes. Mm -hmm. but it's, yes near. It's, it's possible that this the place is uh this place maybe. Yes, it could be, mm -hmm. but I don't remember well because I didn't. I I don't know about lot. That's place, that place. Mm -hmm. Yes, but we went there and we have fun with my family. We eat a lot and we eat cake too. And just that. Yeah. Okay. And Jacqueline, well, in my case, I stayed at home. I stay at home. I watch uh, some movies with my children. Um, I played outside. Uh, well, near my house, there is a small park. Okay. And we went to there to play with our pet, a dog. <laughs> and okay. just that. And today, well, I went to work as okay. a daily routine. <laughs> Yes, me too. <laughs> okay, and well, what more? I don't know what is the. Uh, we have to share another topic. No, only that. Uh, how are you today? How do you feel? Ah, uh, well, uh, it's raining. Mm -mm. It's not for possible. Okay. Uh, it's kind of weird because everyone in these times, I think they have smartphones and all the smartphones have uh, a camera. camera. Yeah. And, but as you were saying, um, it's not an obligation that you can ask them to turn on the camera if they don't, they, if they said that they don't have. Mm hmm Yes, it's very difficult because uh, you uh, can uh, think that all the students have a camera. Uh, sometimes uh, the student um, doesn't have a um, good uh, internet. internet. Yes, internet. yes, yes. Uh, for that, I always put 
de Okay. Hello again, everybody. It's good to see you. Greetings from the Hello. San Miguel. It is so nice to see you again to start the week with you, even if it's at, at night. Okay, so we're ready to start and I'm going to quickly check who's here and who's not. Uh, please, if you hear your name, say present or here. So today we'll start with session 13, okay? And um, today is Monday, August 23rd, okay? Monday, August 23rd. Beatriz, are you there? Not yet. Mariela is, was driving home. Blanca? For some reason, she's not here. Maybe I'm going to send her a message because she has had a couple of uh, funny stories. Uh, let me check. Okay, the next one is Brenda. Diana. I'm here. Diego. Flor. Flor was on the way home. Uh, Francisco. Present teacher. Redis. I'm here. Laura. Jackie. Here, teacher. Arvin. Present teacher. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, Jennifer. Not here yet. Beatriz, welcome. Say hello. Oh, your microphone doesn't work again. Okay. She's very cozy, you see? Probably it's raining there too. Okay, Juan Jose. I'm here. Diana too, okay, good. Uh, Gustavo. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Jennifer, I just mentioned your name, welcome. Fabio. I'm here. Rolando. I'm here. Canari. I'm here, teacher. Roxana. Present, teacher. Okay, so we're ready to go. Now, um, Motivation Monday, right? Motivation Monday. So first of all, I'm going to share with you uh, Okay, a very important question. Let me check it out. Okay, I'm going to share it with you now. So you can select different options, okay? Uh, so this is a quick survey about your weekend. It's just a question. What do you do on the weekend? Spend most of the time home, watch movies, series, went out to visit friends or relatives, worked out, worked a lot, like you worked a lot, slept a lot and did housework, celebrated something, exercise or practice some sport. Other if there was something else that was relevant that you did, right? More than one option, one. correct. Now you can select as many as you want. Okay. The ones that apply to you, of course. So it's just an idea about what, you, what the majority of you did the most.
Okay, 10 more seconds. We got 14 people answering. Okay. Now, according to the, the time is up, according to the survey, um, spent most of the time home, that was five people, uh, what series, uh, four or movies, went out to visit relatives or friends, three or out of 14, worked a lot, five people worked a lot, slept a lot and did housework. Uh, three celebrated something, only one exercise or practice on sport, only one, other, four. Okay, so um, that was the end. Home exercise on weekend. <laughs> Maybe they practice on sports. Maybe. Oh, yeah, oh, that, yeah, was, yeah. that was included. Like but, playing soccer. Yeah. In other, I suppose that probably you didn't go out to visit friends or relatives, but you went out, right? To, for, to a restaurant, to a tourist place. Maybe that's the other option. Okay, now uh, we're going to move on. And as it's Motivation Monday, we're going to do something right now that will make you speak, think, and at the same time, get some motivation, okay? Something that I love to do, uh, or something that I love in general, are quotes. Are you familiarized with the word quotes? Quotes, Q U O T E S. No? No. Okay, quotes are thoughts, okay, ideas that people, in this case, important people or people who had a brilliant idea, brilliant thought, said. And people, the rest of the people took it, okay, to have it as a reference. For example, one of the most famous quotes is, be the change you wish to see in the world. Who said that? Teacher Freddy, no, it was not me. Nietzsche? No. It was? Emilio. It was not Emilio. It was not Avishi. <laughs> it was Gandhi. Okay, Mahatma Gandhi. So he said that, be the change you wish to see in the world. Say el cambio que quisiera ver en el mundo, right? So that's a famous quote, okay? Um, there's another one that I love from Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, that said, if you can walk, then, no, if you can run, no, what was it? No, if you can Hi. walk, then <laughs> crawl. If you can crawl, now I was running. If you can run, then walk. If you can walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. It's like, no matter what happens, keep going. Continue. I mean, making an effort, okay? Until you do it. Until you get to where you want to go, where you want to get. So um, that's one of my, for, my favorite Isn't quotes. the logo for Jack Daniels, no? Keep moving or keep walking. <laughs> keep walking. Okay. Now that that one is keep moving forward. Um, another one that is very famous also. Uh, education is the most powerful word. No, the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Nelson Mandela said that education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. You have very good memory. I used to have it when I was younger. <laughs> but yes, I remember a lot of things. And quotes are one of my favorite things. When I was younger, I used to collect a lot of quotes and have them in a little album so that I could read them. And that was like a personal motivation. Now, I am going to share a link with you that has the, let's say, According to the title, is the 50 uh, best life quotes of all time. So I'm going to share it. You open it and select the number. 
of the quote that you want. Nobody can repeat the quote. So everybody has to choose a different one. I am going to take notes about the number that you select. Okay, when you have it, tell me a number and that is taken. Nobody can take that one. So you're going to analyze, reflect about that quote that you liked and you're going to tell us, okay, in the breakout rooms, which quote you selected and why? What, what comes to your mind? Why do you like that quote? What is the message of that quote? What, what do you understand from that quote? So you're going to share in the breakout rooms individually the quote that you selected with the little analysis, okay, that you make. So when you have the number, please let me know. There are 50. Open the link that I share in the chat. Look at the quotes, select one and tell me a number. So that I write down that Pedro selected number two, quote number two. Okay, Yanari number four. Yanari, 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 wait a second. Okay, four. Roxana, eight. So not possible to take number eight. You can use a microphone, okay? You can tell me. The faster you, you, you tell me, the faster you get the number and nobody else can take it. So Jackie, number nine, and uh, Gustavo, number five. Okay, five, Jackie, number nine. Quote number nine. Okay, look at the quotes, select one, analyze it, and then when I send you to the breakout rooms, you are going to share that. You will say the, the quote and you will explain what you understand about it and why you like that one. Okay, then Miguel number 20, Beatriz number 13. I want number five. Ah, number five ready to take. Was taken, yes. <laughs> you see, fast, you have to think fast, make a decision. Okay, Harbing number 11. Uh, Fabio number 19. I'm number 16. Okay, Rolando, number 16. I'm sorry, Juan Jose, Rolando said it first. <laughs> so, Juan Jose, you need to select another one. Okay, uh, who else, who else? Nobody else? Uh -huh. Nice. Francisco, 35. Okay, 35. Time. Juan Jose, 27. Excellent. For time. 47. 47 for Diana. Yes. Okay. Life. No more? It's made up of. Yes. Yeah, you can copy the quote in your notebook. That's okay. So you remember it when you are in the break of rooms. If you don't want to open the link again. Something that I used to do a long time ago when I, I was with a group of students was to um, give them one quote every day and they have to reflect about it and give me their opinion. So you could try. Um, reading one quote every day or every other day. Okay, so Flor, uh, it's not home yet. Uh, I think we're ready now. Ready, did you make a decision? <laughs> not yet. Teacher, can I change? Uh, which one? 40. Okay, wait a second. Number 40, Jackie? 40. Okay, yes. number 40. Yucky, 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 yucky. Here. So, number nine is available in case somebody wants it. Number 40. Okay, got it. Uh, Jennifer, 29. Okay. Excellent. So, we're just missing Freddy. Uh, 27. I'm already taking two. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Freddy's. Can I choose one that is not in there? 
Um, sure. If it is motivational, yeah, go ahead. So ready. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms quickly. You are going to have uh, five minutes, maximum six, to share your quote and your opinion, okay, about the quote. So in the group number one, we have three. Okay, okay over here we have three, three, and three. Okay, perfect. So we're ready to go in three, two, one. See you in a moment. Okay, I said the invitation to join the breakout room. Excellent, perfect. Okay. <sighs> I'm Philips. I'm select the number 16. And the number 16 says, if you love life, don't waste time for time. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. For time is what life is made up of. I understand that uh, uh, the the this this uh this, how do you say the teacher, the name of these statements? That's a quote. 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 This quote is from Bruce Lee. And I understand that, that I, I have to spend my time in, in, in the good way, yeah. Because if I have a good a good time, I have a good life. For example, when someone eh, take a take time to get you by a message or a phone call, eh, when you see well in my case, um. I'm happy when I see my children when they are healed and that I they are starting to to uh, to become a, a better people or to become um, happy adults. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> The problem today, we, we have a lot of responsibilities. So it's frequently those responsibilities make us worry about the future. So you it, all the time, you all the time is worried moment. about that. So yeah. you ex In one moment. <clears throat> is it, it is it's important. Uh, not necessary to plan. Lives the life. Lives the life. All time. Okay. Uh, in my case, I choose the what number? 47. It says, life is a succession of lessons which must be lived to be understood. Uh, this is like when people say that uh, you have you have to face something for you to realize that it's good or bad for your life because sometimes your parents, your friends give you some some advices that you think they are wrong. Um, for example, a simple example, and when they say 
don't go that place because it's dangerous. Something can happen. But you, you only learn the lesson when something bad happens to you. If you don't uh, face that situation. And you, Gustavo? Sorry? And you, uh, what number? Okay, for me is the number five. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. So for me, this is very important because um, when I was a young man, I am the typical um, was against all the war. So I was the, the black sheep in my family. Uh, I don't care everything about my family, my friends, uh, Whatever. Mm -hmm. So after that, when I'm start to, to grow up, I see the all these things the, you you create uh, the black clouds around you, and you spend your life in nothing. Mm -hmm. So right. for that thing, I'm start to to uh, to be the my my own my my own creation so in the in the in the in the short life that i have so i think i'm 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 i do i do i does i did i, I, I did. did sorry i did i did that um i believe in that i won Okay. Okay. Um, how old are you? Because you say in my short okay. life. Okay. Oh. Ready. Let me see if it's taken. No. You say forty-six. Forty-six. Yes. Forty-six. No. It's available. You could use it. Okay, 46. We can plant life. All we can do is be able, be available for it. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And what do you understand? I think it is something, things about life uh, just happen, but we can plan or, or predecide. Predict. Predict the things, but we can prepare for uh, like a study or uh, make friends for not be alone, make family, but we can plan if something bad or something good happen. Okay, thank you. I select the number 16, but I when I select this, I can, I don't know, I, uh, I can see that this is from Bruce Lee. And it's really interesting because Bruce Lee, Actually, he's dead, yeah. And he was a, a famous, famous uh, actor in martial art. The low rider, Freddy. Yeah. Have you heard that song? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
It reminds me of uh, 60 Seconds, the movie with Nicolas Cage and Angelina Jolie. It's really good. Okay, <laughs> so let's go on. Um, okay, did everybody? Okay, I'm going to wait for the rest to join us back. Did everybody get the chance to share their quote and their analysis? Give me a reaction if you could, if it was possible for you, or raise your hand. That's, that's yeah. Cool. It's for me. It's it's possible to pass in my Every, life. Everybody, everybody had the time to do it. Well, yeah, there, there are yeah. Every, everybody, too. everybody. Excellent. So I'm going to choose the okay hand. Yeah. Now we're going to go on and um, so what do you think about, about the activity? How do you like it? Interesting. Interesting, okay. Thumbs Wonderful. Up. Wonderful too. Wonderful, okay. It was nice to hear you expressing your ideas about the quote that you selected. And the good thing is that it was free thinking, right? A free activity. So you didn't have to follow a specific uh, speech. You said whatever you thought. So it was thoughtful. Thoughtful? Thoughtful. Uh -huh. Thoughtful. Okay, excellent. So that's the, the activity for the motivation Monday. And I hope that uh, you consider that, right? That sometimes these kind of uh, quotes can help us to reflect. Okay, especially when we have things going on and we don't know what to think. So a different perspective can help us um, find a solution or have a different view of the problem or the situation we're going through. Now, I'm going to move on and um, thank you for your dedication in the breakout rooms. I, I, it was, as I said, everybody was participating and I like that. So I'm going to share the screen to start with uh, the session. What do you remember from the last class, last Friday? The fun Friday, Bes besides the activities that we did for playing or for practicing English, what did we do? What did we do? It has to do with focus groups. Remember that you were working in the breakout rooms? with your team, creating a little... We discussed the best option for the focus group about the, the, the first group that we do before, mm -hmm. something, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah, that was what you were doing. You were thinking about how many participants, how many focus groups you needed for your product, what testing method you were, what testing you were going to use, um, and other characteristics or, or requirements that were necessary for your team, okay? We had the where am I, that was here. This is the group board that you had, okay? The number of participants, the location, the type of test, and the number of items in the question questionnaire, right? So today, you're going to share your plan, okay? So I'm going to give you two options. Do you want us to go on with the questionnaire, work on it, and then present the, the whole information to the class? Or we present the information that you have right now, and later we work on the questionnaire, creating the questions and everything. Option one or option two? You can write the answer in the chat. You can say it on the microphone. Option one is that uh, we go with the question with, with the questionnaire and then you present everything or you present what you have right now and then we work on the questionnaire, creating all the questions that you're going to use for your focus group. Option one or option two?
You can write it down in the chat or say it on the microphone. Okay, Fabio says number one. I need at least five people to tell me their opinion. Number one, teacher. Number one. Okay, so let's get the answers quickly. I think that people are still a little bit sleepy from the weekend, recovering Teacher, energy. I really, sorry, but I was distracted. I didn't listen. Okay, so option one is that we go with the questionnaire right now, we read about it, we create the questions, and then you present as a team all the, the information that you have so far, or we go with the presentation of what you have, and then we work on the questionnaire. That's the option okay. two. Mm -hmm. I already poked. Okay, let's check. So six people, seven people already voted. Six, seven, that will be nine people out of 17, 10 people out of 17. And we got a winner. Okay, we got a winner. So uh, we're going to go with option number one. As you can see, the results, I'm not lying. 11 people said that they prefer to go with the option one. So, option one will be. The option one is that we're going to uh, share the information. I'm going to share the information with you about the focus group interview questions and conversation. And um, then we're going to present, okay? group by group team by team sorry not groups teams so uh first of all we're going to design a basic questionnaire to test a new product okay there are two questions here i need uh let me check juan jose can you please read the question number one okay and mariela question number two okay thank have you have you ever conduct a focus group Okay, that's the question number one. Number two, Mariela. Why do you think it is important to design good question about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond? Okay, excellent. So I guess that we don't have a lot of people who have already conducted a, a focus group. Uh, I think only Juan Jose is the one that said that. Uh, but it was in an educational context, right, Juan Jose? You ran a yes. focus group, but in an educational context. Yes. yes. Okay. How many people were there in that focus group? It, it depended on this page, um, seven to 10. Oh, okay, okay. And you had a questionnaire? Um, or it was an observation? Yes, yes, only observation behind the mirror. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, behind the mirror, excellent. So it was about behavior, right? Behavior uh, observation. Now, uh, why do you think it's important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond? <clears throat> okay, I want to hear at least two opinions. Why do you think it's important to design good questions about the product? Or about the service, right? I think that it's important to share because, for example, the customer needs to, to do uh, how, uh, how have a good, good information about the, the product or uh -huh. for the service. 
maybe if you know you don't not uh, uh, like to vote or buy a uh, a product with a uh, defect or issues. Maybe it can be a reason. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, based on the on the questions, obviously you're going to get answers that will help you improve or pay attention to other aspects that you maybe didn't consider for your product. So, and you will know what people think, what people want. Okay. And um, that's basically the important, right, of designing good questions. So, uh, it's like for a teacher. It's important to create a good test in order to check if students are learning or not. So um, you need to consider a lot of aspects, right? To make a test. Now, you're going to read the following excerpt about tips to design uh, focus group questions. Uh, okay, so first of all, I am going to read it for you to pay attention to the pronunciation and get familiar with the vocabulary. Then you're going to tell me if there are any new words that you would like me to explain you. And later we're going to get some volunteers to read every lines, okay? Every line, uh, every point that is mentioned in this uh, reading. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention and get them provide, to provide more honest and complete responses. Introductions. Begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get, get to know each other better. Example, their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy uh, focus groups, uh, etc. Right. Number two, fun starter question or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the group's creative creativity flowing. For example, ask them to think of of three words to describe their favorite hobby. Number three, format. When choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice questions to provide structure and direction and open-ended questions to allow for further exploration and discovery. Number four, rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Five, a specificity. So this is void, vague, open-ended questions that simply ask why. The word why has a negative meaning. It makes the respondent think their first answer was not good. Instead, ask respondents to provide some specific examples of what they liked or did not like about the item in question. Six, closing. Thank the participants for their help and ask if there, um, if there anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group. If there is, if there is anything, it's missing something here, okay? If there is, okay? If there is, is anything. Okay, if there is anything uh, that could be done yeah, that's one way. Ask if there is anything that could be done to improve their experience, or you can eliminate the there and just and ask if anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus groups. So two different ways. But in this case, um, I think it sounds uh, better if we say if there is anything that could be done okay if there is anything that could be done so we're going to add that over here so i need a volunteer to mention to read the first two lines
Okay, Fabio. Then uh, number one will be for Rolando. Fabio, you start. Okay. You can help your members have a more productive sessions by asking questions that grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete re responses. Responses, excellent, good job. So is there any questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation before we go on with the volunteers? Any Number. word? Any new word? Any any word that you have doubts about the pronunciation? Yes, no, three, two, one, no questions. Good. Uh, Rolando, you go. Number one. Introductions. Begin the sessions with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better. IG. They example. Example. Mm -hmm. Their favorite hobbies and interests. What they enjoy, focus group, etc. Okay. Introductions. That would be the only one. Introductions. Introduct. Okay, introductions, excellent. Thank you so much, Rolando. The volunteer number two is uh, Roxana. Go ahead. Yes. Um, I can see well. Mm, you want me Wait to make me a bigger? second teacher. Did second. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me well? Yes, I can. Okay, okay. Fun start question or, or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the groups. Creati creativity. 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 Yeah. Right. Creativity. Create. Uh -huh. Crea creativity. creativity. Correct. So, Apple, for example, ask, ask them to think or three words to describe their favorite hobby. Correct. Thank you. Uh, volunteer for number three. Juan Jose. Perfect. And okay. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you well. Okay. Um, number three, format when choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice questions to provide structure and direction and open ended. Uh, an open ended question to allow for, for, uh, for, for tour exploration and discovery. Okay, there you go. So multiple and structure, okay? Multiple and extra structure, that would be the other one. Okay, Diana, number four. Thank you, Juan Jose. Rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Okay, appropriate. 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 Appro appropriate. Okay, appropriate. Uh, that's a difficult word, I know. Even to spell is a, is a little bit complicated. Okay, let's go with number five. Volunteer for number five. Specificity. Okay, let's see. I'm going to choose number five. Uh, Jennifer, thank you. Right on time. A boy back open in that way. Fake. Fake. Uh-huh. Fake. Open ended question that simple as why. The word why has a negative meaning. It makes that the respondent think the first answer was not good. Instead, ask respondents to provide some specific example of what they like or didn't like about the item question. About the item in question. That's correct. The item in question. Correct. Excellent. 
Uh, yeah, that was the longest point. And number six, who wants to try number six? Brenda wants. Uh, in this case, Beatriz raise a hand first. I think Brenda will go in the next one. Okay, Beatriz, you go with number six, please. Okay, closing. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, closing. Closing. Thanks the participant for their help and ask if there is anything that could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group. Okay, so in this case, it will be just closing with the sound Z, closing. Um, and because when it's a verb, we use we say close with the Z. When it's an when it's an adjective, for example, it's close. Close the. I mean, it's close to something, or the door is closed. Um, you can use it with the sound s. You can say cl it's close. The park is close to the church, for example, the church. And the other one is there. When you say there, their help, their experience, there. The pronunciation yeah. is the same as there. Like I'm going to mention here. So this. And these have the same pronunciation. There, there, there. And the contraction of they are is there. So it's the same pronunciation there. Um, what, how can you tell the difference? Because of the context, right? Because of the context. But the pronunciation is the same one. Thank you so much to the seven volunteers that we got for this activity. Now, this is the information that you need to consider to make your questions. Okay, for your questionnaire. Um, because of time, I'm going to take the attendance here. I'm going to make a, a quick pause. And then we're going to start working in the teams. Okay, working in teams. So I'm going to pause the share. You can take a screenshot if you want. Um, Okay, give me a second. So, Beatriz. I'm here. Mariela. I'm here. Blanca is not here. Brenda. I'm here. Diana. Present. Floor. <clears throat> Diego, Francisco. Present teacher. Redis. I think he's here. You think? <laughs> okay, Jackie. I'm here. Uh, Harvin. Present teacher. Jennifer. I'm here teacher. Juan Jose. I'm here teacher. Gustavo. I'm here. Gustavo is very quiet today. I wonder why. Yes, I received my vaccine today. Oh, you got your vaccine today. Oh, sorry about that. Which one did you which one did you get? AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca, okay. Yeah. For that time, you can go to Europe, you can go to Europe now. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Yeah. Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Fabio? I'm here. Rolando. I'm here. Anari. I'm here. And Roxana. Present teacher. Excellent. So let's go on. What's next? Good question, Emilio. The next thing is working time. That means that you are going to take into consideration these six aspects. Okay, to create your questions. What is the indication? Uh, Brenda, thank you for letting me, I mean, helping me out. Hello? I, hello, yes? What do you say? You're going to help me read the instructions now. Okay. Uh, 
Your turn. Okay. Group, mm -hmm. group work. Design a 10, 12 question questionnaire to find out how the participant of a focus group perceive the product you've suggested in unit one. Mm -hmm. Still there? More? Suggested in unit one. Okay. Uh, yes, you can go on. Remember to start with the question to mark the participants interact with each other and reduce their anxiety. Anxiety. Then ask questions. Anxiety. 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 Yeah. Then ask questions about the specific characteristic of the product. Excellent. Use, Thank you so okay. much. So in this case, this is what you're going to do. Okay. Simple as that. Well, it's, it looks simple, but obviously you have to think, right? And work with your team. So 10 to 20 questions, 10 minimum, 12 can be the maximum. Uh, to find out how participants of the group or the focus group, that in this case will be the rest of your classmates that are not in your team, okay? They uh, perceive the product that you, you suggested in the unit one, right? They find your pet, the pet lover, sunshine, and the quaternary and ammonium with fragrances. Um, remember to start the questions. I mean, to start with the questions to make the participants interact with each other. So the question has to be interactive, right? And so they, they, they don't feel stressed giving the answers. And then ask questions about the specific characteristics of the product. So at the beginning, you can ask some questions to um, activate them, right? And, and get them talking. And then specific questions about the product. And for example, for example, um, let's let's think about the sunshine, right? They are selling cactus and succulents. A uh, question to like to make the participants interact is like. Uh, do you like visiting uh, nature? I mean, tourist places that are surrounded by nature, like trees, flowers, rivers, lakes, etc. In that moment, people start um, expressing their ideas, right, about traveling, about going to places that have nature. Which places come to your mind that are full of nature, plants, trees, fruits, vegetables? Uh, maybe they will think they will say, "Oh, like El Pital, for example, it's beautiful. There are a lot of flowers." So, questions that are connected to the topic, but not directly. So people are just starting to talk and um, expressing their ideas, and then you ask specific questions, like, for instance, uh, "Do you like to?" to collect plants uh, or have your own garden at home? So that will be a yes, no question. Um, if you, you need to create not only yes, no questions, but also you need to create open-ended questions. Open-ended questions are what, where, why, when, uh, how much, so, um, or how long. So, when you ask open-ended questions, the answers are longer because people have to think and express their opinion about the question. It's not just yes or no, okay? Uh, so consider that. You need to include open-ended questions, right? That is the second part, okay? Let's go with the second part. In this case, we need another volunteer. Somebody can raise a hand, please. Who's the volunteer? Let me check. Just to read, just to read, okay? Fabio, are you raising your hand again or it was raised from the previous exercise? I think I didn't lower the hand either. You didn't lower the hand, okay, okay. But I can, I can right now. You can do it, okay? No problem. Just I didn't listen well because you are going to read talking. the second the second part. The sample questions. Sample questions, yes. Okay. Just a second. 
you simple questions use a rating scale to measure the participants satisfaction satisfaction overall, uh -huh. satisfaction overall how satisfied are you with the product what is your impression impression of the product how likely are you to purchase to purchase this product include include open end questions as well what the specific features of the product impressed impressed you? What features of the product disappoint you? Disappointed you. Disappointed, okay, disappointed you. you. Correct. So these are examples. These are sample questions. So if you see, they have a rating scale, like from one to ten. How satisfied are you with the product? Remember that you're going to conduct the focus group. And the survey or the questionnaire is at the end. When the people already try, they already use, they already experience your product. So they, you can ask specific questions about their, about the product. What is their perception? What they liked about it? What didn't they like about it? Okay, if they have any recommendations for to improve the product. For example, with a quaternary and ammonium, that can be that people will say, uh, so. Are you satisfied with the options of fragrances? How or how satisfied are you with the options? Uh, from one to five, five is a, is very satisfied and one is disappointed, right? Not not really satisfied. And then you can ask, for example, um, what other fragrances would you be interested in uh, trying or having right if you bought the product so in that case people will tell you um i would like to to get one that smells like like a baby or so i can use it in my my children's uh, bedroom or like flowers right so that can be like roses right whatever and that's to give you an example okay and the find your pet right what so the app has some, um, let's say characteristics, right? But in the questions, you could ask the people uh, which characteristics they, or features they liked from the app and, or which one they think are missing in the app or which one they didn't like, or they think they could, could be improved. So that is what you're going to do, okay? So is there any question before I send you to the breakout room? about what you're going to do now. Beatriz, questions? No, teacher. No, Francisco? All is clear. Okay. It's clear, teacher. It's clear like coffee, yes. okay. Like horchata, <laughs> like horchata. Harvey? No. Everything is clear, teacher. Okay, Jackie. It's Good. clear. It's clear. Okay. Uh Diana. Yeah, I think it's clear. You think it's clear, Miguel? I think it's clear, teacher. Yanari. I think so it's clear. Okay. So we're good. Now Again, we're going to, uh, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms with your team. So I need you to tell me again who you're working with, right? So room number one is going to be for the quaternarian ammonium. Uh, that's Rolando. Mariela, Arvin. Okay. Me, Arvin. Um, Diego. Mariela, and? Yeah. Diego, Diego I okay. Think. So Diego is not here. That will be Brenda's position now. Okay, and Jennifer. Ready. Team number two or room number two is going to be the find your pet. Find your pet. That was Blanca's group, I think. Blanca's team, Blanca. but Blanca is not here. So. Diana, Flor? No, Flor is sunshine. Uh, Diana. Diana, Francisco, Francisco, 
think. Ah, uh, Miguel. 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 Luis Miguel or Juan Jose. I Luis Miguel. We don't have Jose. Miguel. Oh. We have Luis Gustavo and Miguel Angel, but Luis Miguel, no. <laughs> La we only have Jennifer Lopez as a celebrity here, but not Luis Miguel or Enrique Iglesias. It's me, it's me in, in the group. Okay, so it's Miguel, Francisco, Diana. And Juan Jose, I think. Juan Jose, okay. Okay, perfect. So we have you four right now. Uh, room number three will be for pet lovers. I remember that Fabio and... Um, Fred is... Fred is wearing that. Jackie. Jackie. Jackie and Janari. Janari. Yes. No more. Me, teacher. I was there, but... Me, teacher. Uh, okay, Roxana. Roxana. Irma. <laughs> yes. Okay, excellent. And the team number four, we have Beatriz, Flor, Gustavo. Yes. Am yes. I right? That is the sunshine, right? Yes. Who's missing? Anna. 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 But which Anna? Because we have Beatriz, uh -huh. Anna Beatriz, and Anna Mariela is in the room one, so... I think we're good. We're done with the Anna's. We already have them. There is other Anna teacher. Uh, yes, we, we have another Anna. We have three Anna. Yes. No, we have only two. We used to have three in the previous module. Lorena, no, uh, wait. We had Anna, Anna Elizabeth, but she's not connected. Uh, Anna okay. Elizabeth, yeah. Okay, perfect. So. Right now, you are going to have 15 minutes. I hope it's enough. If not, you let me know right in the breakout rooms. 15 minutes to discuss and create a minimum of 10 questions, okay, for the focus group. Okay, if you don't make it to, to 10 and you have nine, I will take it, I will take it, okay? But remember that you need to include a general questions that people will feel comfortable to start talking and then specific questions about the product, right? Including rating scale questions like uh, how much or how satisfied are you or how happy were you with the app, right? So very not so much, or you can rate it from, the, from one to 10, from one to five. Um, it can be uh, yes, no questions, maybe one or two yes, no questions. And then um, instead of asking, for example, uh, did you like the fragrance, the lemon fragrance? Yes, no, why? Instead of asking why, as we can read in the indications, right, in the, in the recommendations, instead of asking why, uh, people can, I mean, you can ask people to give you their perspective, right, about the fragrances. So instead of asking why, you can say, okay, mention uh, other fragrances that you would like to, to try. Okay, so instead of asking why. Uh, and basically that's it. Okay, if you have any questions, just Ask for help and I will get to the breakout room where you are. Ready, set, and go. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. Yanari, did you get an invitation? Jennifer? Sorry, teacher, but I have 
problem with my internet. I disconnect. Oh, okay. So you were in the team number three, right? With Freddy's. Well, yeah. Fabio, with Fabio. Uh huh. Fabio and Freddy. Okay, got it. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Of the class because I, I feel a little bit bad, so but I try to to stay here to to help to help you. Ah, thank you. Okay. Uh, are you sick? Uh, for the vaccine. We <gasps> got the, the Astra, AstraZeneca vaccine today. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. For that. Okay. So, so start. The floor is back. So now you have yeah. three <laughs> members in the team. Nice okay. picture. That is in the museum in Suchitoto, right? Yes, teacher. That place is nice. Yes, it's really, really beautiful. Okay. Sorry, that was a question <laughs> to help you relax. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now you go on. Okay, teacher, Hello. I I try to hear the indication, but the the signal I think that is a little slow in the in signal the... was low. So yes. um but I, I understand that we have the the first question we have to do it is not directly with our product or, or something like that. No, the first questions are can be general, and the sec and then I mean the first question, the the other questions can be specifically about the product. But just the one, the first question. The first question, maybe but, two or three questions, and then the rest are about your product. Okay. But we need try to to make questions for um, the answer is not the yes or not, right? You can include probably just one or two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. The first question can be, do you like plants? If you want to check the fountain, we can do it right now. Uh, I'm going to read them. The first one is, how many pets do you have? Uh, I, I wrote three options, one, two, uh, two, three, four, two, six, or seven, or more, right? Four. Because mm -hmm. some people have 10 dogs, <laughs> three <laughs> dogs, five cats, and that's kind of, that things, right? Uh, what kind of pet do you have? Cats, dogs, birds, rabbits, others. Each. Uh -huh. And have you ever lost a pet? Yes, no. Uh, did you find it? If they said yes, uh, the next question, did you find it? And if they said no, they have to skip this question, the number four. Uh, do you go, no, do you walk with your, do you walk your pets? Uh, Maybe to to vary a little bit and not to have a lot of yes no questions. You could ask, um, how often do you walk your pets? The next uh, we have another one that is how often do you walk ah. your pet? Mm -hmm. Because so, sometimes people uh, do that and sometimes they don't. Uh huh. So that's why we uh, you have to make that the question. two questions. Uh huh. Got it. And we need to ask when you walk your pet, do you use a leash? Because yeah. if they don't, it's more it's more possible that they can get lost. And then we have how often do you walk your pet? Once in a week, twice in a week, more than product. But I think mm -hmm. that it's important to make a focus for the new product because um, 
well, it could be make one or three question, general question, but I think and that, is... that we think few questions about general. Okay. And then we will focus on the product. Okay. Making that firm. Well, uh, now, uh, tell me, I have one question, but I can, what do you opinion, what is your opinion about to the to the new to the new product to the new quaternary ammonium. What is your opinion? It could be one. Yes. Yeah, but this is focused to the new to the um, to the new product. I don't know. It, I could be that it could be it will be one of the questionnaire. Yeah, it could be the number three. Jarvin. Yes, tell me. Tell me. Could you write the question? Uh, the everyone have everyone to. Have to. Yeah. Everyone, okay, but yes. who, I, I don't want to, to share today, please. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> be the, no? don't be I don't shy. want to be the victim today. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that you, no, in you... this case, in this case, it will be different. It will be different because what I'm going to do when you are done is that I'm going to send each of you to a different breakout room. So you are going uh -huh. to conduct the question. You're going to ask the questions to the rest of the of the people in the other breakout room. So everybody's going to be exposed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, um... for that reason, you need to write down the questions individually, right? Everybody has to write them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank because you, thank you're going you. to be a representative of your team in another breakout room, <laughs> uh -huh. with other okay. people, and they will ask you their qu the questions of their team too. So I will make a big mess with the breakout rooms after you finish. <laughs> so there will be one person representing every team in the breakout rooms. <laughs> that is the idea. Okay. 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 Okay, question number. Worry. You're you're not the only victim today. <laughs> Thank you. I will be this is a good fair question. Number so three. The number six in is maybe better suitable to be a third one. Teacher, in the Hello. last class we already made eight questions, question. so. Yeah. <laughs> So you need we, to check if they if the all the questions uh, are in the I mean they in fit. the correct in the correct place like, I mean if what... they if they are appropriate if they are appropriate based on the indications from the mm -hmm. from the manual for a start we choose we these two we have uh, made it right now for so that is on page 24 remember all the indications uh, the tips are in uh, on page 24 yes so you can <laughs> take that as a reference and you can compare them with the sample questions too yes that's what we are having uh, we are doing right now okay like his this remember to start with question to make the participant interact with each other so we thought that these two that we made right now okay. are fit in that place like i'm not really about why the, did uh, you choose do you did you <laughs> did you your did you, pet right? name. Did you choose your best name did you, did you? Uh, did why did you choose your best did name? you mm -hmm. ask oh. did, did you choose did you? your mm -hmm. best name Okay, what do you like what about do you your like pet? For your pet? Do you consider that having an app like this one? This one is important. Mm. Like this one. You need to include that this one in number three and number six. Like this, this one. one. Like this one. This one. Uh -huh. uh, 
was the app useful? Would you recommend the app? And uh, where do you have the rating? Rating. The question. rating. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> yeah, they have to evaluate your app. And you need to collect some data. So you need to include a couple of questions related to that, probably. One about the satisfaction. The other one can be about the how useful they think the app could be. Very useful, hmm. not very useful, somehow useful. Yeah, we could uh, modify some like this one. We could transform, we could modify to... You could change some or you can add some. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if I, on a question that says, if, if you feel this was, this question will be uh, meaningful, I think. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So. And the other thing that you have to consider is that everybody needs to write down the questions, okay? Because when you are finished, I am going to send you to different breakout rooms individually. So you are going to ask the questions to the other people from other groups or teams. <laughs> So okay. it's, you're going to become the representative of your team, right? In other breakout rooms. Teacher. Hello. You will take a screenshot. You could take a screenshot and then share it in the breakout room. Yes, that's a good option. Cool. Mm -hmm. So I will change. I think I'm going to to do something right now so we have to the last question no. like an evaluation wait a wait a second i'm thinking that maybe in in order to get the results uh from everybody you could create a a form a form yeah i'm going to close the breakout rooms and i'm going to explain you that in Google Forms. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to explain that because maybe not everybody's uh, accustomed to using that. So I will just show them a little bit. Okay, and then you okay. will go back to the breakout rooms. Don't worry, I'm just going to make a little pause here. Okay. 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 The message say that we have uh, one minute. <laughs> we need two minutes more. Yes, we need more time. Richard, your microphone yeah, is turned off. <laughs> okay, so wait a second. Before you lynch me, I am going to tell you what, <laughs> what, why I called you back to the, to the, to the session, okay? So uh, to the group you session. Is because is because uh, what? You you uh, change me of the group. I was uh, with Diana. <laughs> he, you were with Diana. Yes. And what is your group? Number the two. Team? Number I two. I mean, what is your real team? Your original uh, team. The Friday, I didn't stay. So Diana is now your teammate. Uh, I was working with Diana, Miguel, today. and Francisco. Uh -huh. Today, yes. Friday, I didn't stay. So who, who were you working with on Friday? On Friday, I didn't stay here. <laughs> ah, I didn't okay. Connect. You didn't connect. So, but do you belong to Diana's team or not? In this moment, I was working with, with Diana. But in the previous activities? In the previous oh, uh, group work? I was with Gustavo, I think. Ah, with Gustavo and Beatriz. No. <laughs> and Flor. Juan Jose, the, the teacher Hi. is asking when, when, when we have to do the company. In, in what group, in, in which group you were? Uh, I was with Gustavo uh, the, the Tuesday. 
at, uh, at the beginning no, of the when beginning you, when you see, when remember. you when you make the the, the products the product mm -hmm. for example our thing was sunshine and we have cactus yes. and succulents and in which group in which team you were on the beginning with the ammonia, were you in the quarto in, the, 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 in the plants the cactus and succulents in the find your pet or in the pet lover what is your team Juan Jose? in this moment i was working with the pet with diana but, but in the before past? i don't remember you don't, I don't remember. remember before. Ah, okay, no. so you're going to stay with Diana for today in the rest of the of the. It's very because I we are going to we are working. In this exactly, moment. exactly. That's about right. About the the questions. Yes, mm -hmm. excellent. So listen, I I call you back to the to the group session because I was go, I'm going to explain you something that will make your life easier. Okay. So in order to make the survey with the questions, it will be easier for you to collect the information and to, to use technology, right? For, for collecting information, if we use uh, forms. So for some of you, this is not new. For some of you, maybe it is. So one person in the team can work on, on, on this. So I'm just going to explain you uh, pretty quickly how to do it, okay? So I'm going to share the screen with you. This is my email. So what you're going to do is to click on these six dots, well, nine dots. And then you are going to select or look for uh, forms or formularios, right? That is right here. So what you're going to do is to select one. Uh, one if you want uh, a pre-made, pre um, format or template, you can select any of them. Uh, but if not, you just click on the new one. And then you can uh, write down the name of the of the forms. In this case, uh, Sunshine, for example. Uh, Sunshine Company. If you want to add a description, that's up to you, right? But here you're going to write down the questions. You have the options, the multiple choice. If it is yes, no. If you want people to express their opinion, you are going to select one of these two, short answers or paragraph. Short answer would be okay, I think. Uh, if you want the boxes, you have this one. If you have, this one has like a, like a waterfall, or, yeah, waterfall uh, format, you can do that too. So it can be one, um, very good, good, excellent, whatever, depending on the kind of question that you're going to make. And when you have it ready, when you have it ready, you are going to click send, okay? When you have the 10 or 12 questions, uh, you are going to click, well, you can change some information about it, like they can edit or just one answer per person, that would be okay. So people don't answer the same questionnaire, the same questionnaire two times. And the presentation, no, and no. So you can personalize it with the colors or you can choose an image if you want. But the point is that you're going to click send. So automatically you are going to get a link, okay, here. If you click on this symbol, you can shorten that and you can copy. So when you go to like as a team, you're going to have one link, everybody, right? Everybody's going to have one link. So when you have it, you are going to send the or share the link with the other classmates so that they can answer the survey, okay? So this is going to be really useful because you can apply this knowledge or this kind of uh, forms in different contexts in your life, right? Maybe at work, maybe with your family, with your friends, for a celebration, for, I don't know, right? Uh, for your business, if you have a business. 
So um, then you copy and you have the link automatically. So that's what you're going to do, okay? I, I wanted to take a moment to explain you that. Uh, it is something that is important also is to select the option mandatory. So people have to answer that question, okay? Mandatory. Um, if the next, next question is similar, you can duplicate it. If the question is incorrect and you, you can eliminate it, um, you can add a new question. Um, you can import them if you have them in another document. You can add a description, an image, video. There are all options that we're not going to use. If, if you want to move the question to a different position, you can click over here on these six points or six dots and you move it up or down. Diana, you have a question? Yeah. Is it mandatory to use this for present the questionnaire? Uh, you can use another format. You can use another format, but this will help, okay, to get to collect the information. So okay. only one person in the group, in the team, can create it and share the link with the team, right? So um, the idea is to make it as, let's say, as realistic as possible as we are not in person and we cannot like do it on paper, we're going to do it online, right? So this, because if we do it in a normal way, like I am working with Rolando and Jackie said, so I start the question number one. So Rolando, what is your opinion? Jackie, what is your opinion about question number one? Francisco, what is your opinion about question number one? And you go like that, listening to everybody question by question, you will never finish, okay? But if you send the link, okay, so here's the link. You have five minutes to answer it, right? And then everybody answers, you get the information that you need and does it, okay? So um, that's what I wanted to share with you. This is not for today, okay? I know that we don't have enough time to work on it, so you can work on it and tomorrow you can share the link. So today we're going to do the discussion. You're going to share the questions just for the class, your classmates to know what questions you have. And tomorrow you can send the link. When we start the class, you share the links in the chat, in the general chat. Everybody can open it, right? And try to complete the survey, okay? Just to have real information from your classmates, okay? And then you can present the results, okay? So teacher, these are the results for our team, our product. Okay, so, and with that, we're done, okay, with the questionnaire. So right now I'm going to send you back to the breakout room so you can finish the questions. Uh, if you don't start the forms today, that's all right. Okay, you can do it at home, later, uh, tomorrow, uh, before the class, okay? And that's it. Do you have any other questions? or comments? Is it clear? Is it too difficult, Juan Jose? Uh, the link for the work, the questionnaire, it's in Google Form, a uh, Google Form. Yeah, if you use Google Form, if you use another app, another format, another type of questionnaire, that's okay. Uh, but Google Form, I think it's easier because everybody has a Gmail account, right? So it's pretty easy to complete a survey and get the results. So only one person is going to have control of the results, okay? So it's not going to be too hard. Now you're going to have five minutes, then we'll come back. Um, you're going to share with us a little bit about the questions that you already have. So we can give you some opinions about the questions and then we take the attendance, we say goodbye and that's it. So here we go. One more time, five minutes beginning when you enter the breakout rooms. Okay, set the invitation, excellent.
Okay, perfect. We're done. Yes. Okay. We, we, uh, so uh, here I need the other questions that you have, but we. Okay. Here. Okay, I, I got to move a little bit here. The question. The question is, can be, would you like to create a small garden in your house? Would you like? But it is good because it's something like, like an invitation. Good July. July. Good, good July. July. Yeah, good would you like good. to create or, or make or, or make to make a small garden? Create or make a small garden. I think it's cool, cool. C O U. I'm sorry, C O U. Cool. Is, mm -hmm. cool. Cool. Ah, cool. Do you like? Ah, okay, okay. I hear. You. I. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, cool. Do you like this morning mm -hmm. in your home? Okay. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, could you like, it doesn't sound so natural, let's say in, in English, you could ask, um, would you be able, would you be able to create a, like, if you say, would you be able is, would you have the capacity to create one? Able. Would you be able to? Like that? Yeah, you'll be able to. Okay. Okay. Teacher, okay. how do you say Terrario? Terrario, what is that? Yeah. What it's is like that? like a small garden too, but they are so small, small for for half into the house let me check like uh, that's okay, okay it's like... called terrarium 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 terrario mini terrario or terrarios miniaturas con site <laughs> <laughs> terrariums, mini terrariums, maybe. No, mini terrarium here. Um, I think but it's nobody knows about mini. that. So. It's not necessary to say mini because the we, terrariums are small, right? According to the yeah, definition yeah. that I got here. We we can you can explain confuse. You can you can explain them maybe what terrarium is before you or when you ask a question. Yeah. Or in parentheses you can write down what a terrarium is. Okay. So what else? Okay, picture is recording in your phone. Uh it, it can be uh, would you be able to learn about okay. app will help you be more organized? It will help you be help you to be to be more organized. Yes. And it is a just no question. This one maybe could be how useful do you think the this app is?
I agree. Or, or it could be the same way that you have, and you can put it in why. Why do you think this app is useful? Oh, no, no. Uh, was the app useful? And you had to put, to put yes or no. And after that, why? How was the app useful? Mm -hmm. Or you can put Instead why. of saying why, how you can change it to, to that question. Exactly. That's one of the indications, right? That appear, or the tips that appear in the, in the manual. And about the question number 10, uh, do you think? Uh, I am a little confused with the, what is the idea of the question number 10? Okay. Yeah, this first time maybe. So it's very. <laughs> what do you want to ask? Uh, we want to ask if, see if. Um, if, if after they seeing are... all the things the app can do, mm -hmm. the person feels that satisfied satisfy their necessity or not. Ah, uh, okay, okay, got it. So uh, you can you can say right after using the app. Uh, did the app, I mean, if you're going to make it a yes, no questions or a yes, no question or an open-ended question? It would be um, um, an open-ended. Yeah. Open-ended. Okay. Okay. So uh, how much does the app satisfy your expectations or your needs? Right, and then you can give the options, okay? Or you can just ask how did the app satisfy your expectations, right, or your needs? So how, if it is just how, people will explain you their reasons. On your, your expectations. Or your On needs. Or your, your needs. needs. Yes, no, and why? Teacher, thank Hello. you for joining us. Uh, how can I add the option just no in the why? Because I just cannot just no question, but if I add short answer, change the the options. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to add um, a space for uh, ex explanation, yes or no. So in, in, in other. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah, that can be like, um, let me check. In the question, you can ask the yes, no question, and then you can add the why. But however, however, remember that um, adding why to the question is in the tips is not recommended. Mm -hmm. Not recommended. So uh, maybe you can change a little bit about that. So okay. for example, would you like to have an app like this? That that can tell you the health of your pet is okay. Mm. Hello. Uh, wait a second. I'm thinking that at the time that you're asking this question, people already already tested your your yeah yeah your your app. Yes. Uh, in, so maybe that can be at the beginning, like just yes or no without explanation, okay? Uh, and then you can add a question. You can add a question that that is open where people can tell you 
the reasons why they would like to have an app. I mean, they would like to have that this app that you created, right? That would be an extra question. And uh, the question that you had, number number six, do you think an app to find your pet, is it necessary? Eliminate the it, only your pet is necessary. Uh -huh, exactly. And the okay. same for number nine, do you think the find your pet is easy to use? Okay. Aha, uh -huh, yes or no. And then the question can be, what difficulties uh, did you find when using the app? And it's open, so people can answer with a short text, a short paragraph. Uh, do you, uh, what, 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 uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What, what difficulties do you find when using the app? Or do you get when, or do you observe when using the app? What is difficult to use in the app? What, what difficulties? What difficulties what? do you? Is no difficulties. The plural of difficult. Difficulties oh, with no difficult. T i e s difficulties. Difficulties. Yes. Uh huh. What difficulties did you? have or find when you use the app. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's... That's short, uh, short paragraph. Uh -huh. So okay. people will okay. tell you what, what problems they have. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the okay. same one can be for something positive, similar question. Okay. Maybe what aspects or what characteristics of the app they liked about they liked. Okay. Or how? I couldn't hear you, Brenda. What did you say? Uh, uh, I'm asking you if the price that you will ask them to say about what they think is one gallon of the thing or ah, one. Yeah. yeah, this could be other question. Uh, what presentation would you like to use? Uh, a liter, a gallon, or something like that? Mm hmm Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's so a good question. Idea. Yes. And so we could add what price? What size? Would be oh, what price? Price or would it be acceptable? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Acceptable. For you. Acceptable uh, or affordable. Um, could it be acceptable, teacher? Yeah, acceptable or affordable. But the time is up. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're almost done. I, I don't know if you realize the time was almost up. So, and I noticed, right, that all the groups were working, we're still working. So that means that tomorrow I will have to give you some time, maybe five extra minutes, just for you to agree on um, the final product, right? The final results. Maybe somebody from the team can start to add the questions to the to a form. Uh, two of the teams were already working on that. So you already have a little progress. Uh, if you're going to use another form, another type of uh, evaluation, that's okay. Um, so tomorrow you're going to have approximately 10 minutes at the beginning of the session so that you can work with your team, be on time, remember. Um, and finish your questionnaire, right? Because at the end of the questionnaire, you are going to present the all the elements of your of your team, the number of breakout rooms, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So um, 
quickly, I'm going to just call out your name to confirm that you're still here. And it's not just your profile picture or a frozen image. I uh, like Beatriz. I'm here. Mariela. Hey, Freddy. I'm here. Some people, some people just place a picture, right, of them in front of the camera, and it's like, and nobody, <laughs> people, and people cannot tell. Uh, Brenda, I'm here. Uh, Diana, present. Okay, next one is. Wait a second. Uh -oh. I was checking another date. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> Floor. I'm Francisco. Here, teacher. Present teacher, present. Nice, Freddy's. I heard you, Floor. I heard you. Always here. Always here. Laura, Jackie, Harvey. I'm here. Present teacher. Harvey's been quiet today too. Uh, <laughs> Juan Jose. I'm here. Did you solve the internet teacher. problem, uh, Harvey? Hello. Jennifer? Did you mentioned. Yes. 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 I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Gustavo? <laughs> yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. Uh, Miguel? I'm here, teacher. Are you sure? Fabio? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> yes. I'm here. Okay. Then we'll continue with. With me, Rolando. Rolando, <laughs> <laughs> the one and only. Okay, Je Janari. I'm here. And Roxana. Present teacher. Okay, there is Roxana, you see? Now, yeah. um, so don't forget that on Wednesday, we're going to be finishing the week number three. We're taking the picture and everything. We're having a, a little celebration and um, I'm going to send you the list of the vocabulary for the spelling. It's a short list, so it's not going to be too complicated. Um, so you can just practice, right? So on Thursday, we're going to have the, the spelling bee. So uh, it's, going okay. to be, it's going to be really short, really short. It's just going to be two words per person, maximum three. It's going to be a piece of cake, but just to have fun. Uh, now, we're going to finish. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, Brenda, I wanted to ask you if you could stay for the last 10 minutes. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, perfect. So tomorrow it's going to be, let me check, 24th. Uh, that will correspond to Mariela tomorrow. Okay. okay, so, uh, well, that's all for today. That's all, folks. Like, like Bugs Bunny would say at the end of the show. So, have mm -hmm. a good night, everybody. It's not a Tiny Toons, it's a Looney Toons. Now, we're going to uh, <laughs> stop today's session. Thank you so much. I hope that you got some motivation to start the week. And I uh, hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Same time, same place. Well, you can change room if you want. You can go to another room in your house, but in the same place here online, okay? So <laughs> thank you so much, everybody. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you. Agadan, Jackie. Bye bye, namesake. <laughs> I don't know. What happened, Brenda? What do you do? No, nothing. I was just there in the breaker room uh, listening to what they were telling about the survey. About their survey? Mm hmm. Yeah, they, well, yeah, it's like a survey questionnaire. We call it questionnaire because of mm -hmm. it's the way that it appears in the manual, but it's basically a survey. Mm -hmm. I used to pronounce survey for a long time. Survey. Yeah, I, that's the way that I learned it. But then, it is uh, survey, right? 
Yeah, it's survey. But I realized about that like five years later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for the first things that I had. <laughs> they maybe they are still saying the same. Yeah, probably like me. <laughs> and fighting with another teacher, no, but it's like that. <laughs> yeah, teacher probably told me that it was like that. Uh, <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. So, how are you feeling, Brenda? Better, teacher. Better. Today I feel better. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hear. Was... I hear that you're 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 good. Yeah, I'm getting better. That's Thank awesome. God. And your mom too. Yeah, my mom too. Yes. It's, it's I'm glad nice. to know that. Thank you. And well, uh, we are just, let's say, missing a, a couple of sessions for finishing the unit two. And mm -hmm. then we start with, uh, with the three, with the unit three. So uh -huh. that's probably, uh, but I don't know if you have been studying, taking a look at the topics or the, on the platform, if you, well, I, I, I was checking that you already did most of them. I, I'm not sure. I think you already did all of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, I yeah. So I don't know if you have any doubts now that you finished the exercises mm. or about another issue related to life. No, I'm just kidding. Related to English? <laughs> yes, teacher. I'm about to drink one thing. <laughs> one what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no. Nah. No. Uh, let me see. Mm, I don't know what to ask. Hmm. Actually, uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but I wanted to ask you about the IPA thing. Uh, there is a, like a alphabet IPA, I don't know. That is like the sounds of the, the H. IPA. Aha. Uh -huh. IPA stands for International Phonetic Alphabet. Aha. Uh -huh. So yeah, that is one alphabet that has to do with the sounds of the letters. Mm -hmm. In English, uh -huh. the IPA. And have but, you tried? Uh -huh. Have you learned about it? Like, uh, have you studied that? Yeah, or? I, uh -huh. I, I did. When I was at college, uh -huh. at university, I, had to, do... I had to take two phonetic subjects. Uh, and it's difficult? At first, it is. At first, it yeah. is. But... Uh, once you familiarize with the sounds and the well, mainly with the symbols, uh -huh. yeah, mainly with the symbols because you learn the pronunciation, right? Mm -hmm. But then you don't know what the symbols represent. So, uh -huh. in that case, uh, the difficulty for me was to familiarize with the, with the symbols because uh -huh. we, uh, we had to make some uh, transcriptions of songs. Mm -hmm. uh, text, etc. Uh, so in the end, I think I managed to learn all of them, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, it's really interesting. However, uh, it's, it can be a little complicated. And do you think that if why if somebody can learn that, so if they study another language, for example, it would be easier for them to learn how to pronounce each word that they are learning from the other language? Uh, only if the other language has the same phonetic alphabet, like the symbols are the same. Uh -huh. Oh, only. it doesn't include everything. <laughs> No, it doesn't include, uh, there are uh, other alphabets, not only that I, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's new for me. Yeah, but if the languages, uh, I mean, for example, let's say Germany. In Germany, they mm -hmm. recognize that same symbols mm -hmm. and they accept them, then it will be easier because you will uh, already know them. Teacher, but I, 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 never, I never, I never uh, ask myself that question, to be honest, like, um, who else? in which other language um you can use that the same they use I've, the same language uh -huh. uh, and have you studied another language teacher uh french when i was uh, 
I don't know in which year, but it was, I think it was 2012. I started uh -huh. learning French. I got a basic level, but then I stopped using it. So. Mm -hmm. And why did you learn that? I liked it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> the romantic language you wanted yeah, to Yeah, the language of love, exactly. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe one day I was going uh, to use it for, uh, <laughs> for love, but no. <laughs> I really like the way they 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 pronounce and everything, but it's kind of complicated. I think it's English is way easier than French. Uh huh. Yeah, because they say that you have to uh, control your throat, right? Yeah. Like, uh, have some specific sounds. There but are a lot of go... a lot of a lot of guttural sounds. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And if you go to a place in which they speak French, French, sorry, do you think that you can? uh like um manage yourself just with the uh what you can what you learn at uh, the time that i was learning it i could have a basic conversation with someone but mm -hmm. now just a survivor at least. Nah, now i don't even have the survivors uh <laughs> french uh -huh. um maybe but you can understand maybe maybe i can understand some stuff yeah some words mm -hmm. uh -huh. but now i will have to study again Mm -hmm. yeah uh, uh, yeah it, it's nice many people after they learn english they want to go for french yeah i think it has a lot of spanish and english mm -hmm. um however they're not the easiest ones uh -huh. you could go for italian or portuguese uh -huh, before you go true. for French. Uh -huh. Yeah, because even when you listen to them, even when you haven't studied anything about it, you can understand at least 10% of what they speak. Yeah, at least mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or more. Yeah. So teacher, another question that I was having is, for example, when you use uh, frequency words, I don't know if I'm mm -hmm. saying right. Like, for example, when you say, uh, this word usually when you are going to make a question and you you, you have to use that word the frequency adverbs i uh have -huh, frequency adverbs so how would you make a question when you are you going to use usually mm -hmm. where do you put in which place do you, you put the you, word you place it between the subject and the verb between subject and verb like um do you usually do go you usually, shopping alone do you how usually, do you usually learn new words uh-huh uh -huh. how do or you usually, what what do you usually do on the weekend mm -hmm. it's similar in the in the statements that in the statements uh -huh. i usually uh -huh. go i usually watch uh -huh. mm -hmm. and the majority of the adverbs of frequency go in the same position. Mm -hmm. The only one that it's like you can place it in different pla in different positions is sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, you can say I go to the beach sometimes. Sometimes I go to the beach. I sometimes go to the beach. Uh huh. Mm. So I could go at the beginning, at the end, in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm that is good so sometimes mm -hmm. sometimes and um let me check yeah basically that's a position uh, yeah another question that i was having but this is related with the academy Ah, the only uh, the only uh, if you're using it in the con continuous form uh -huh. then you have to place it after the auxiliary verb uh-huh after the auxiliary verb mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like for example but it's not you... it's, it's not common it's not common to use the continuous form with uh frequency adverbs uh -huh. not common to use it in that way mm -hmm. but if you have an auxiliary verb uh, then you place the the frequency adverb in the middle of the mm -hmm the auxiliary and the verb mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and teacher so, at, at the end of this course you uh, can usually you can for example you can usually see my friends sitting mm -hmm. at the park after school 
you, you can, can usually, usually uh -huh. see my friends you can usually okay you can usually do this or that mm -hmm. after after work can you can say that after the auxiliary or the modal verb uh -huh. modal verb. okay for example you should never speak mm -hmm. spanish to me <laughs> An example, it's not true. With, with, a, with a cigarette in the hand. <laughs> Very high. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. And so, after, after yeah, this course, know. teacher, uh -huh. uh, they will give like a, a certification, certification or something like that, or no? I mean, you get a diploma uh, for every module. Aha. Uh -huh then you when you finish the intermediate you go to the advanced one mm -hmm. but like and i say like for example to uh, attached to your cv yeah i mean you can attach that to your cv definitely because it's certified by insta corp it's uh, certified by english corporativo so it's something official um, but they give you when you want to uh, say like bye bye to the courses because you maybe have problems to continue or something like that or or how they give you what like um, i want to know if they will give you they will give that after the whole complete course finished i mean they give you the, the the diploma with every module that you complete it's up mm -hmm. to you if you go until the last module or you just stay in intermediate too, for example. But they, they give just if I ask. A, a certificate, um, a certificate. I'm no, no, sure. like a diploma, like the diploma that they give. I have to ask for that or, or how? Mm, no, after every module you need, I mean, you should, you should get it. Um, you don't have to ask for it. You should get it. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. But if you don't get it, you, you can send an email or a message, right? Like I didn't get my 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 diploma from the module two. Uh -huh. uh -huh. oh. You should be, I mean, you should be getting each module, uh, I mean, a diploma for each module. Mm -hmm. And for example, teacher, if, the, uh, if say something, if somebody cannot continue with the classes, but after some uh, month, they come back again, and they have to, do an interview to them and then they will place the person I, yeah i think that's the way that english corporate works i'm not sure in the previous place that i was yes they used to have a placement test mm -hmm. to see in which level you were so i suppose it's the same thing uh -huh. yeah you have to demonstrate that your level is in this or that mm -hmm. um let's say level mm -hmm. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah Ah, okay, that's good. Okay. Well, if you don't have any other questions, it was nice to hear you. I'm not going to say it was Thank nice you. to see you because I didn't see you. <laughs> you just see the B there. <laughs> uh -huh, I only see the the B S the brand of science here. <laughs> only the letter B. Uh -huh, exactly. Just the B. <laughs> yeah. Thank oh, you for helping me. <laughs> no, you're welcome. It was. It's always a pleasure and um, I'll be here whenever you need it. Thank you, teacher. That was nice. Uh, listen to all the answers. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Thank you for the questions. Uh, thank you. Have, Have a good, good night. night. Get better. Take mm -hmm. care of yourself. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>